it's easy to lose a connection with why we're doing this, this social media community building, because you get caught up in the network of ideas and lose focus on content. Distribution success requires the creation of messages aimed at bringing like-minded people to your web page. Don't forget, this is supposed to be for longer form content. What may be the best means of doing that is with social media bursts, small packages that deliver a single message. Let's start with three of what I'm calling burst platforms because they represent the gamut of what's out there. Twitter, Vine, and Instagram, or text, movie, image. It's possible to use any one of these to push the other types of media, but fundamental structure of these platforms remains bursts of information. Twitter might be considered the granddaddy of burst platforms, if that's even possible in a technology that's still in its adolescence. Born in March of 2006, Twitter was to be a micro-blogging platform. Its 140 character limit is because short message service, SMS packets, could only be 160 characters left some room for the sender's name, but it's become more than group texting. If you're not a Twitter user, then it's likely you don't see the draw. Think texts, but with huge reach, something well beyond phone carrier and contact list limits. The power of Twitter hit home for me at a conference for online news when I stumbled onto a Twitter stream shared by a group of attendees using their smartphones to comment on a keynote presentation in real time. The ability to make asides to hundreds of neighbors was intriguing and thus the power of burst social messaging. Written messages on Twitter are supplemented with photo shares on Instagram as well as movies on Vine. All these single platforms now offer a mix of media types and you risk media overload trying to keep up with the hundreds of similar types of social media platforms that work well, pretty much the same. I'm choosing to speak toward these three basically for the same reason I recommend YouTube. They're the largest. If you're a writer, then work with Twitter. If you're image focused, then Instagram or Vine. In the end, there's very little difference, but you should hold to one rule. Keep it focused on your work. You should also note that there should be a limit to the number of selfies and recent meal pics. It should become a habit. This posting of periodic events with the idea to draw, redirect, focus attention on your content stream. A burst feed pulls a single idea out of the overall content bundle, sets it up in a format that is perfect for what has become a primary connecting device, the smartphone. The burst platforms have started to embrace image and video, thus Vine and Instagram are good choices, but regardless of how you choose to structure the message, context should focus attention on content. The how of it is amazingly simple for such a powerful tool, but it requires that you get in the habit of putting that smartphone to work generating rather than passively scanning information. What you're working on becomes a series of tweets over the course of a day. Add to that a location image or two. Finally, share an activity in a video, and you have a string of news bulletins that if done right, interact with audience. Never lose sight of the interactivity of the process. Beyond following or being followed or even liking an image stream, this is supposed to be building community for your web content. The pieces of information that you are generating through these different social media burst platforms grow out of and refer back to that digital media you are intent on distributing. For those of us who remember newspaper, this is the equivalent of a headline service. If done correctly, you can build interest in content and get people reading, and in this case, viewing, Next, the discussion is going to turn to a term I keep using but not really defining, content. So until next time, thanks for watching.